Zoe! Yo, what up? Guess who won the custom vans battle between Beja and I? Who? Rock Joe Changer! Alright, okay. This guy. This guy with. You got shoes with a picture of you holding shoes on the shoes. That's right. That's next level. Yeah. I don't know. I think my custom vans came out pretty good. Like, look how cute they are. Ice cream colors. Tommy made his too. He put different. Wait, Tommy made his? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Not as good as mine. <laughs> Tommy, you got a pair? Yeah, what's up? You got a pair of customs too? Of course I did. What you know about these, man? What are we working with? Yeah, though? Custom, custom peanut graphics. We got the suede out here. Oh, look. Oh, look. Nice no. little pinna green on the back, of course. <laughs> okay. Yo, I was not ready. What you think, man? What you think? Yo, these probably could have put up a better fight than Beijing's. <laughs> hey. No shade, no shade to Beijing. No shade. We're both wearing pink today. I know. Isn't that deja vu or something like that? Is it? No, that's the no, wrong it's term. No, it's not deja vu. We were just. It's a we coincidence. Were, yeah, exactly. We we're on the same it's page this morning. Telekinesis. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you started this whole thing with Beijing and I. Yes. Because you were the first one who... I was the first it. one to custom design my van. What I want to do with these vans right here, I want to give them away to a lucky viewer. These one of ones. <laughs> DJ Khaled doesn't even have these, okay? Oh. Maggie, how do you think I should, I don't know, conduct this giveaway? Um, I think we should just throw it back to old times. And you okay. have to put a thumbs up on the video, obviously. Subscribing always helps. And... You're gonna put a comment, and the comment will be hashtag Get got man. <laughs> Yeah! Hi. You already know. <laughs> this is happening. Okay, why not? This crisp five Canadian dollars for your. For your time. Hold oh, that. Are you from New York? No. Are you I'm from, from the Midwest. Okay. <laughs> Where are you originally from? I am from Miami, Florida, born and raised. Where are you originally from? Boston. Philadelphia, baby. P H I L L. Don't hate. What's the most important thing you've learned so far from living in New York? In Miami, I feel like you have to be more of a savage, and here is more just aggression. Because in Miami, there's way less opportunity. I've learned you better walk fast. If you don't walk fast, you will get trampled. This is not the place for cool walk, pimp strolls, gangster leans. If you don't walk like a kid looking for f**ks, you will get ran over. New York is run on favors. Always do a favor for someone. Okay. You'll always, it doesn't matter who they are. They could be someone someday. You're going to want a job with them. Two, pick your apartment based on subway stop location. Hmm. True. The metro. Three, system. always give yourself double the amount of time you need because subways are always messing up. Back home, everybody is just focused on being managers at Walmart. No shade. <laughs> Damn. For me personally, in Miami, I was surrounded by friends and family all the time. So moving here, it was like you have to get used to doing things by yourself. Like it's very hard to get everybody synced on the same calendar. Like even get somebody to go explore. Like. Battery Park or like places you've never seen before it's okay to do things by yourself and to embrace that and be comfortable doing things by yourself The hustle that is in New York is unlike anywhere else that if you get on the subway and the carts empty Get off immediately Ooh, clutch. Because something bad is happening there. <laughs> Jersey 
Love it. Second best state in America. So what's the first? Well, California. Wow. So where's New York then? So if I have something. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, true. Okay. So I'll go. All right then. That's what I'm talking about. I'll go, I'll go Jersey, New York, Cali. Hey, Beja. Hey. How's your work day going? Okay. I see you're rocking the L chain. It's not L for loser, it's L for lavish. Oh. Here we go. Yiddy, I yiddy. see what you did there. What can your I remix. Say? What can I, say? I know that you're not from New York, right? You're from the ATL. But you, you've been living here for several months. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from living in New York? Um, Consistency. And there's no room for excuses up here. Because if you want to be great, everyone wants to be great here. Everyone is important. It may be in tech, it may be on Wall Street, it may be in media, everyone's doing something. So it pushes you to uh, have that consistency, to have that relevancy. It's been a good week, so we'll just leave it at that. And uh, look forward to Beja wearing the lavish chain on yeah, a news lavish, video. Yeah. Coming soon. Got All right, guys. Lavish. I'm a savage. All right, that's enough. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video. Deuces, uh, little peanut head. Oh, uh, no. <laughs>